Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. Good blistering morning in the Oregon heat. Coming to you from the Beaverton Town Square where things are reopened, shops are reopened, the place is busy. Actually it's not that busy right now because it's pretty early in the morning so things are just starting to open up. If they're even open yet. here for another part of the abandoned series. You'd think that a place with a parking lot as busy as this one, and again, you're not seeing it in its full right now. It's usually very busy, as in very few spaces open. But you'd think that a place this busy will not have abandoned places in it. But this very parking lot does. Um, there were two places. One of the abandoned places had been, which was a Burgerville, has been turned into a meat market now. Look at the Moonstruck Chocolate Cafe, which often has very good stuff. Look at the Galaxy, Galaxy Nails and Spas, the Galaxy idiot. <laughs> Good one, Adam. Look at the Thai absurd restaurant. Perun restaurant. We got this lovely little plaza where I've sat with my kitty before. And a few other things. But yes, this uh, mall, Beaverton Town Square, has been home to lots of places some successful, some not so successful over the years. And we're gonna check one of the unsuccessful ones out right now. And it's a question on why it is unsuccessful. It is a chain restaurant. It was an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Um, that had a pretty good selection of things to get. Uh, yeah, look at them, the parking lot is full. It still went out of business. But this was before the pre, this was, it went out of business before the COVID era. So you can't blame COVID for shutting down all these convenient places for this one. People going to the Trader Hoes. I have no interest in Trader Joe's. I really don't. My interest is this building right in front of us here. The Izzy's Restaurant. If you grew up in Oregon in the uh, 80s and 90s, you will know that Izzy's was pizza plus a whole lot more. It started as just a sit-down restaurant where you order your food and they deliver it to you. It morphed into a place where you can order your food and sit there and have it delivered to you or an all-you-can-eat restaurant. And they did all-you-can-eat, the all-you-can-eat buffet they had was actually pretty damn good. Um, I liked their, their selections. And this one, this particular Izzy's here, had a really great selection of items, really. Um, but a few years back, they closed. They closed the doors to this one. They still have other. Hey, it's me. They still have other uh, locations open. 
but this one is out of business and I'm gonna see if there is if there are any windows I can actually see into because they would be cool yeah look at this they still have flyers and stuff um, no, you can't really. Now oh, the sun's too bright. I still have flyers and magazines here. This magazine stand. Huh. That's cool. I wish it was a little. Uh, I wish the sun wasn't shining directly on the windows, so I could see the date on those. They're not new. <laughs> Here's a mail thing. I mean, a newspaper thing. I also see that the windows are kind of boarded up on the inside. Now this looks like the sun's not shining directly on it. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah, things have been evacuated from some of this place at least if not the whole place oh yeah no oh, it's cleared up look at that I don't know if you can even see it I'm seeing mostly my reflection which sucks but when I peer in really close to the window I can see into it and walk around it of course the uh, gardening is still going that's cool good for it see these trash cans now this uh, Izzy's restaurant shares um, parking space with a bunch of other restaurants that it was suddenly in competition with um, Buffalo Wild Wings over there it used to be a Hooters place I would argue to say Buffalo Wild Wings is the much better place uh, to eat. I went into the Hooters a few times. I don't remember if I... There was one thing that I really liked there. I don't remember what it was, but the rest of their food was kind of... Bleh. It's not good. down from here. It's not that far to fall. <laughs> so yeah, there's Izzy's restaurant. Oh, you got to be kidding me, really? Let me go back up there. Jeez. There's some better shaded windows. You can look right into it. There's totally a sock on the ground. Come over here. Here, and let me see, what do we got here? We've got an empty lobby, empty-ish restaurant, yeah. No, unlike some of the other restaurants I've been to recently, they've totally cleared this one out. And that makes sense, because the first thing the company's gonna do is either take their stuff back out because they have other locations and can use those parts there. Or if a company is failing, they're going to uh, sell off their things to make a little bit of money back. So I was mighty surprised when the Chevy still looked like it could open any time, even though they've been closed for two years. But here is Izzy's restaurant in the Beaverton location. The Hillsborough location is open again. It is, uh, right now it's a sit down place. They just converted it back to that where you order your stuff and they bring it out to you. Um, I don't know if they're doing all you can eat there where you just keep ordering and ordering. I don't know if they're doing that. Cause I haven't been there in quite a while actually, but I was surprised 
had this one closed because I thought the buffet here was better uh, stocked with more selections than the Hillsboro one offered. But really, it's surprising that it closed at all because this parking lot is usually packed. In fact, the restaurant seemed pretty packed most of the times I went into it. But there you go, the Izzy's restaurant. Abandoned for some time now, pre-COVID era abandonment, pre-COVID era closure. But the building still stands. It has not been taken over by anyone. <laughs>